What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Bearded Soldier, back at you again with another awesome video. I hope everyone's doing great on the other side of the camera. It is a beautiful Wednesday evening here in the desert. And uh, I want to talk to you today about, I like to call it the Army Beard Servicing Kit. That's just what I call it. Uh, personal Beard Servicing Kit. Uh, just the essentials, what you need. So in my last video, I was talking about beard oils and beard bombs, and uh, I'm gonna go over what those do and uh, why you need those, those such of things. But I also wanna talk about um, on deployment, about how it is hard to get those things, okay? It's not like back home, even if you have Amazon Prime, it's not two day shipping, it's gonna be at least two weeks. Um, in other areas of the world, if you're deployed to, let's say Afghanistan or Iraq, it is a little harder even still uh, it's a little more relaxed here but it's a little harder there to get stuff delivered to you so like I said it takes about two weeks here uh, I got buddies up in Iraq right now and they say that it takes almost a month people like to hold mail for ransom so let's talk about some things that you can find readily available at uh, say the PX or uh, you know the guys that you see selling crap by the uh, by the PX or on the streets or whatever. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is argon oil. Okay, if you can't get yourself some beard oil and uh, beard balm, or you just got your memo approved, or your shaving profile approved, and you're waiting for it to ship, go to the PX and grab you some of this. Okay, this is renewing plus argon oil of Morocco penetrating oil for all hair types okay and you'll probably find this in the female section but okay I like my beard is super dry it gets really crisp it dries out during the day even if I just use beard oil and beard balm by itself it gets like really dry and crispy and uh, it drives me nuts and it'll probably drive you nuts too so this is really good I usually apply this first before applying the beard oil and the beard balm because this really it softens up your beard it restores the shine softness and uh, strengthens so this is really good at that and like I said if you're waiting on your beard oil and your beard balm grab you some of this there is some uh, some other stuff I think it was like vitamin E oil or something like that and it's probably not exactly the same but it's probably going to work pretty good at least better than nothing so and another thing that you can do in a pinch i know this kind of sucks and you might smell like a kitchen but if you're at the defect or chow hall or somewhere and you find yourself some vegetable oil and uh you end up using you know a little bit of that rub it in your hands rub it in your beard and that's going to soften up your beard and that's going to moisturize it and uh keep it keep it nice um and like i said you might smell like a kitchen but it'll keep it from being dry and crispy and nasty and uh getting dead ends all the time now let's go ahead and let's talk about the beard oil and the beard bomb okay you can find all sorts of beard grooming kits online now I'm not gonna bash one or the other um, I'm just gonna show you what I have learned I mean it's only been about four months for me but I'm gonna show you what I have learned um, Eric Banholtz is a very awesome guy from beard brand and if you haven't watched those videos go and check him out um, He's a very awesome guy, very awesome company. Um, I don't buy their products personally because it's sort of out of my price range. They do have very high quality products, I will tell you that. But uh, it's a little out of my price range. So what I use is Mountaineer brand. Now this is their beard oil. Now I've got two different ones here because I went ahead and I stocked up on another order like I said, it takes about two weeks to get here. So I went ahead and I stocked up on a new order. The first one that I tried from them was the West Virginia Timber. 
I like this one a lot. It's got a very piney scent to it. Um, and it's got eucalyptus in it too, so uh, kind of smells like minty, like the, you know, whenever you got sick back in the day, your mom put that vapor rub stuff on her chest, Vicks. So, but it smells good. It's got a very good, uh, strong scent to it. Um, this again, it's all natural ingredients, man. So this is all good stuff for you. Ingredients, uh, grape seed oil, almond oil, castor seed oil, uh, cedar wood oil, fir needle oil, which gives it that pine scent, and uh, eucalyptus leaf oil. So nothing bad in there. You know, these are all natural ingredients straight from Mother Earth. You know, God gave us the stuff to keep us healthy. Now I just threw the beard bomb. <laughs> so here is the West Virginia Timber Beard Balm. Now, Beard Balm is kind of the same. It's got a lot of the same um, ingredients in it, but uh, instead of just moisturizing and being wet and that sort of thing, the Beard Balm is going to do two things. It's going to condition your beard. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to have those nice ingredients in it, but as you will see, if I can get this open, let's go ahead, my second one, West Virginia Coal, which is the second grooming kit that I got from Mountaineer brand. It's kind of, I don't even know how to describe the scent really. It's more of a minty, almost smells like peppermint. But as you can see, this is a paste, like I said, a balm, right? So this is like, it's like waxy, kind of like hair gel. This has, what is this stuff? Coconut oil, cocoa, cocoa butter, and peppermint oil. Like I said it smells like peppermint. So that's why this one smells like peppermint. You know, these are all natural ingredients, though, man. Uh, sage oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, you know, beeswax, all the good stuff. And that beeswax was going to give you hold. So that's what the beard balm does for you. It keeps your beard in place. Like I said in my earlier video. If you get the religious memo, make sure you grab you some of this, man, because there are some, let's just say leadership, just some leadership out there that likes to mess with people. And if you're in the army, you know as well as I do, they like to mess with you. So they like to make sure that you're in regulations, whatever. So they will probably come by with a ruler at least once in your career maybe twice whatever I haven't had it happen yet but I'm waiting for it but uh, yeah this balm is really good and if you got a crazy wacky you know uh, wavy beard this is really good at keeping stuff in place and I'll make another video too as to how you straighten your beard and uh, get it straight and everything like that so those are the items that I have in what I call my army beard servicing kit Argon oil, beard oil, beard balm, beard brush. So this is the other thing that this is a big boar bristle brush. Okay, this is the one that I use. You can find this at the PX. People won't tell you this shit. So these beard grooming kits that you order, you know, you don't absolutely have to order the whole doggone kit with this. And another thing I will tell you. If you're overseas, you cannot buy a grooming kit that has a pair of these in it. For some doggone reason, they will not ship a grooming kit that has scissors in it, sharp objects, or whatever. So you have to find one. That's why I ended up with the Mountaineer brand, by the way, uh, is because their small kits do not have the scissors. But uh, they do. They do come with a brush. Personally, I don't care for the brush as much because it's really soft, and uh, I really like this one. Like I said, I found this at the PX. It's double-sided. Um, I believe it's made for our African American friends, and uh, you know, good to use for your hair. I use it for both my hair and my beard. It's really good. It's got a coarse side and it's got a less coarse side. This board bristle. Just like the one they're gonna send you in your in your grooming kit anyway. Like I said, that one that they send, 
personally is really soft for me. I don't care for it a whole lot. So, definitely one of these you're going to want in your kit. And now these, you I found these the PX again. Like I said, if you see those people, and you're going to have those everywhere. Okay, I will, I'll make another video about what you need to know about deploying and all that kind of stuff too. But you're going to see those people everywhere on the streets, man, trying to make a sale. They got, like, here where I'm at, and you got these uh, people from India, and you got, like, these little things to wrap your, wrap your face up to keep the sand out of your, your eyes and your face and whatnot. And uh, when I first got here, I was buying the shit out of stuff because I was told that it was, it was disrespectful not to talk to them and buy their stuff. Don't make that mistake. Just keep your head down and walk by them because I ended up paying like 50 bucks for two of those things to wrap around your face. And uh, I went to another guy and this guy was offering them for $15 a piece. So don't make that mistake. But you will see them on the street. They might have scissors. They might have, like I said, the argon oil, whatever. But I found these at the PX. Now, these are going to be real good for trimming your mustache. Like I said, you got to keep it in regs, which is you got to trim it above your mustache. So keep a pair of these on hand. Keep these in your kit. And it's also good for not getting your flipping mustache hairs in your mouth when you go to the DFAC and it's wing night, like tonight was, and you get all those hairs in your mouth while you're trying to eat hot wings, and then you get the freaking sauce in your mustache and. Yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. So just trim it above the lip, you know, be done with it. And uh, another thing that I will throw in, I don't really carry it where all the time, but I'd say carry a safety razor because unfortunately, while we do have the memo, if there ever is a risk of a chemical attack, um, you have to shave your beard. So just be ready for that. You know, I'd say if shit hits the fan, you could probably chop it up real quick with the scissors and then uh, finish it off with the safety razor. But uh, it is proven that a freaking gas mask was still with a beard, so I don't understand why they don't just uh, say the hell with it and let people grow the beards. And there's actually a petition for that. I will make another video. Um, there's actually a petition you guys need to go sign. So not just us religious people can have a beard, but everybody. And uh, I agree with it completely. I think that anyone, you know, if you want to have freaking facial hair, you know, this, this was back in the 1930s when they told us we had to shave. So, but that is what I carry in my beard servicing kit. You know, argon oil, good, going to soft and moisturize your beard. If you get in a pinch, throw some vegetable oil in there. You know, you might smell like kitchen, but it's okay. <laughs> because you're not going to have any girls over here anyway. <laughs> but you look good. And you feel good. Beard oil, there again, it's going to moisturize. It's going to make you, it's going to smell good. It's going to look good. It's going to take care of you. Beard balm, there again, it's going to moisturize. It's going to condition. It's going to hold your beard in place. And uh, allow you to achieve those two inches if you want to comb it underneath your chin or whatever you got to do to keep it in regulations and it's also good for your mustache to keep it out of your mouth so i hope that uh you guys got some information from that and uh if you have any more questions any more ideas for a video want to know anything else comment on the video and always please like and subscribe share the shit out of the video so we can keep this shit going I just realized this is the S word a lot, but you know, that's an army thing. So, I hope that uh, you guys have a great day. Beard on, bearded soldier out.